believe that this is one for sure. It's an urgent call to prayer. I was just on the phone this morning with my friend, uh, Pastor um, and Prophetess Jeannie Amar. She's an amazing um, intercessor. Her and her husband pastor uh, a church and have for a number of years. And she's a real true watchman on the wall. She's actually one of the leaders for our prayer team on Firewall USA. And I just want to encourage you. It's a, it's a Facebook a portal that you can pray for our nation every day, Firewall USA. And I think it's at five o'clock Pacific time, isn't it, Jeannie, that we meet for uh, prayer there most most yeah. days. So just want to encourage you to go on there. And Jeannie, uh, we're going to get right into this. Um, you had an open vision that I want you to share the details of. But before I have you unpack it, I want our audience to know that God is so faithful. For example, in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, he takes John up and shows him this open door, calling him up. He says, come up here and I will show you things to come. And oftentimes the Lord will show us what is to come for a number of different reasons. Number one, so that we can prepare ourselves, get into alignment with his purposes. But secondly, to intercede. And a lot of times when he shows you a warning, for example, he showed the prophet Jonah that judgment was coming on Nineveh. And so uh, the prophet uh, Jonah, of course, didn't really want to share that uh, with, with the people, but then he finally did. And they repented when they heard what was going to happen. They repented so God could intervene, right? So we yeah. can intervene on situations that are looking looking bad <laughs> and uh, see God's redemptive power. And so we are going to look at that as soon as I have Jeannie share her vision. And uh, Jeannie, this wasn't just an ordinary vision. You were um, falling asleep and all of a sudden you had an open vision. You were not asleep yet, but it was an open vision, a full on scenario given to you. And I just want our audience to know that I trust uh, your visions. I trust your prophetic revelation, but I would like you to, uh, to share it with us. I want our audience to listen closely to this and then we will unpack it after and then go into intercession. We're going to see God do some great things today. Amen. Thank you, Patricia. What an honor. Um, so I had just laid my head down on the pillow and I was just talking to the Lord, um, praising him. And within seconds, um, I was in a five star hotel. Um, I'm going to read this. I wrote this and I'm um, out. I was very high up in a, in the lobby from one end of the hotel to the other end of the front of the hotel was solid glass as well as from the uh, wall, from the ceiling to the floor was all glass. And in my vision, I was looking at myself. So I was afar off. And I was not too far off, but I was over here and I was looking at my uh, looking at myself and in myself, my back was turned to the glass. So I um, I uh, went um, I, as I looked out and looking at myself within uh, a one or two minutes, I knew that a tsunami, a humongous astronomical tsunami was getting ready to hit the hotel. At that point, I walked to myself and I stepped in. And, um, and again, my back was turned to that tsunami. So I stepped in and I, I, whenever, at, whenever I stepped in, I did not think about the tsunami at all. There was absolutely no fear um, whatsoever. Um, but what was amazing as I looked up, yellow and orange gumdrops were dancing around me. And I could see on each gumdrop, gumdrop every grain of sugar on them. And I gently, a yellow gumdrop came dancing in front of me and I grabbed it. And I began to swirl and dance around with the gumdrop. And as I did that, um, the sugar fell to the ground 
And on my uh, feet, I looked down and I could feel this transparent um, rain that was just washing over my feet. Um, it was very, very pure. Um, and it was covering my feet. It was very uh, refreshing and a transparent crystal, um, crystal clear water that was flowing over my feet. But as the sugar um, dropped, it turned into rain. And the rain started at my feet and began to circle around me and move up and cover me completely. And I will, I'm going to use my hand. So it was uh, very skinny at the top and then it opened up and it came up to the top as if it was a tulip or a flower that was not open yet. And um, it was um, inside of... So let, let me, excuse me, I'm sorry, but as I, as I was in there, um, that, that it was a vortex really that completely covered me. And, um, but as the rain had hit my feet, the, wa the water began to swirl very, very fast all around me to form that shape of like a tulip. And on the inside, there was a very thick membrane that was transparent and clear very, very thick, and I could see the vortex and the uh, water that was just um, covering me um, very, very, just swirling and circling around me rapidly. And also that membrane of, in my mind reminded me of a baby in his mother's womb, a very protective covering, a sack. And, um, and so I... I would, whenever I was in there, I never once thought about the tsunami. I was not fearful. I was calm and in total, absolute peace. As a matter of fact, the, the peace was so calming. Um, I had, there was no, I, I did not know what time. There was no, I had no memory of what the time was. Time had basically had stopped because of the peace of the Lord. Amen. And so, um, I knew um, whenever I had stepped in and I turned my back to that, I stepped into that genie that was the back was turned. Um, I had no fear of what was coming. And um, so and I was in total, total peace. So that was my open vision. And um, it was quite, quite amazing. It's awesome. I love it. And I'm looking forward to unpacking this with you. And for those of you that are watching, um, when God gives a vision like this or a dream, uh, then of course we need interpretation and application. And so we're going to look at some interpretation, but also a couple levels of application. One could be for yourself um, and how you're going to position yourself in this hour, but the other would be intercession for those that would be affected by the tsunami. And we'll try to um, unpack through interpretation what that tsunami might represent. Okay. So first of all, uh, Jeannie, when you were telling me this, um, the first thing, of course, that opened up that it was a five-star hotel. And uh, we talked about this this morning is that a hotel is not a place where you live permanently. It's usually a place where you rest, get refreshed, and you um, you you stay in a hotel when you're when you're somewhere temporarily. Yes. And a five star, the, the uh, number five actually caught my attention because that's the number of grace, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the number of his divine favor. So mm -hmm. we've got a five star star hotel and of course there's five star generals which would be our lord so everything indicates that this is um, a place that the lord has established and when we were talking earlier we we're talking about how our life in the realm of time we're just passing through this yes. isn't our permanent home our permanent mm -hmm. home is in heaven but we're just passing through right now so that kind of fits with the hotel and also um it was solid glass it was glass all around so there we there you were representing the body i believe representing those who really love jesus and who have their face turned toward jesus because that's who you are and so that's 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 who you're representing there but all the glass so 
you could see out easily yes. see out if you were to look out but also those that were outside could see in and yes. so this is really important on on two things that we need to be able to see what's going on out in the world but know that where we are situated is not in the world there is mm -hmm. a there is a realm in Jesus Christ that we live in that is different from the world, but we have eyes to see what's going on out there and the world can see how we are walking and what Amen. we are doing. And yes. so that's important that we uh, walk, walk up uprightly. Amen. And so your back was to the glass. In other words, you were turned toward the inside, not toward what was going on in the world outside of the hotel, right? You were, your back was to what was going on outside. Yes, I was, it's like I was standing over here and whenever I looked up, I saw myself and myself, but my back was turned toward the glass. At the same time, that is whenever I looked, I saw the tsunami coming. And right. then I stepped in to myself where my back was turned and it, my back, my back stayed turned as the vortex swirled around me. Right. Okay. So I want to talk about the tsunami because uh, tsunamis can be um, indicators of something good or something bad. This tsunami was coming on the outside. Yes. And so, that speaks to me of not like a tsunami of revival necessarily. It speaks to me like of a tsunami of maybe judgment or or hardship, a turmoil. In the natural, tsunamis do damage. Lives yes. are lost. Properties are destroyed. Buildings come down. Um, people get lost in them, can't find their families. They are not um, a positive thing in the world. And so... That's what, what caught my attention. I thought we need to pray about this because in the world, there is something coming. And I, yes. I sense it, it might be soon. Yes. Um, and so we do want to pray uh, pray and enter that. But inside, you were in this, in this vortex. And um, it was like a protective covering. Now, a vortex um can can be like an open portal with swirls of life or water or whatever around and you were in that which i i feel speaks of the glory of the lord you Amen. were you you were in this realm of of glory and there was yellow and orange gumdrops now gumdrops when you know, when people think of gumdrops, it's like, yay, sweet, beautiful, yummy, good yes. memories, right? And, you know, it gives you a good, good feeling. And yours were yellow and orange. And so yes. I know that we talked about this earlier. There's many different ways that you can interpret. But I, I remember years ago, I was in an encounter in heaven and all these beams of light came out of heaven. And I, and, and I found myself standing in this, um, uh, light energy that was was brilliant yellow and i felt the lord say you are standing inside of faith and faith gives hope faith gives brilliance faith gives brightness faith gives vision for what is 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 in god so when you told me that even though i realized that there could be some other interpretations of that that's what came to my mind i thought oh wow we're being invited into Come a on. realm of great faith, of great faith, greater than we've yeah. ever known. And the color orange oftentimes is a color that speaks of revival, fire, revival, yeah. fire, but the glory of that fire. And it was yeah. sweet. It was coming down like gumdrops. And um, so you were grabbing the yellow gumdrops, which I feel is significant because if the interpretation of the yellow is faith. That means what we have to grab hold of Come in on. this hour when everything's going on outside in the world, we need to take hold of faith and enjoy what God gives us by faith. Amen. And, um, and then as the gum gumdrops fell, it turned into rain, which speaks of revival. Rain speaks mm -hmm. of revival. Rain speaks of blessings talks about in Deuteronomy 28 about the blessing coming down as rain from heaven over yeah. the people, which then produces the crops that they can enjoy. We yeah. also see in, um, in um, Elijah's day, 
that he called for the rain. It, it had been in drought. Then he confronted the prophets of Baal, and then he called for, for the rain to drench the land again so that fruitfulness could come. And so it speaks of, of a revival, a washing, cleansing. And that's what we, the people of God, are to stand in in yes. this hour. We need to be very careful where we're uh, standing. And then um, this whole tulip thing. Now, you might want to uh, share what you have on that because it was like coming up and around you, swirling around you, which I'm excited about that because that speaks of for believers, we are inside of something in God that is beautiful. And you couldn't have produced that yourself. It was something he gave you. So That's do right. you want to share what you felt that was? Well, again, it was it started small and then it would it came up and then it would come up to the top. And I and I I felt that it was like a flower. And that flower was um it was sealed at the top, but you know, would open up and bloom. And um and you know, I I, I saw like a tulip. Or, you know, another, I really, I'm, I love flowers, but I don't know another flower that has a tip at the top, but it did. And, um, and of course, inside of it, I saw everything, but the vortex was just swirling around me and I saw that. But again, I was in total, utter peace of God that it surpasses awesome. all understanding. And um, so it was, it was very, very beautiful. I love it. And um, that speaks to me like of a flower opening up in its bud forth and opening up. Yes. I feel that speaks of the body of Christ. What's going to take place for us in this hour um, is, is that there's going to be an opening up of all that God has in us. And the other thing is inside of it was this thick membrane that covered with the water circling and and like in the womb, there's a membrane and the water. And you mentioned that within your uh, vision, which speaks again of new birth. The yeah. other thing that really spoke to me in this vision was that you were in perfect peace. Yes. <clears throat> and that you were outside of time. Yes. And you might want to share a little bit about that. Um, I had no concept of time. Um you know, I, I, there's been a, the first time I'd been in heaven, I did not have any, any actual idea of what time it was. Time was not a factor. It was not a matter. It was just being there in the moment in constant, constant peace of God. And that That's is awesome. what I felt whenever I was there in safety. I felt safety. I felt protection. Um, overshadowing me, um, you know, uh, and it's just total in just total peace. And I think that this is really important for us to know, Jeannie, is that when we we are eternal beings. So when we have our focus on the eternal realm, we are yes. not affected by the things in time. Right. Come because time has yes. created substance. You don't find time in heaven because it's it's in the realm of time. It's created here. Yes. And so um, it's really important that we we stay in this place. So I want to wrap up because we're going to pray soon. Um, number one, for those of you that are watching, I want to say that we are living in a treacherous but exciting hour. Yes. As believers, we are protected almost like um, a Goshen. We're living inside of a Goshen when we're inside of Jesus. Goshen was a place where um, it, uh, Egypt was cursed with judgments and, and all the judgments fell on them, but God's people were safe from it. They were, they were separated from it. When there was the, the plague of darkness on Egypt, there was light in Goshen, right? So yeah. um, that, that is the picture that I felt is that as, as believers, I want to issue a warning here. Make sure your heart is 100% for God and draw close to him right now with your back to the world. And that means Come the on. things of the world, uh, the things that the world represents. We want to face Jesus and follow him into everything that he leads and guides us to do. And so face him and know that you are in this protected place. Now, 
in that protective place, I want you to start praying for the release of faith, great faith, that we will take hold of great faith and receive of the sweetness and the glory of heaven, that we would have revival fire, that we would have revival faith, that we would have the glory of God made manifest in our midst and it would come up and envelop around us and bring forth a true bloom, a true blossom for yes. the church in the world, remembering that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Our back Amen. is against the world and towards the Lord. Also remembering that because it was a glass hotel, we are uh, we are in a five star high end hotel uh, that is that it, that is uh, sealed us inside of grace so that we can rest. Hotels are a place where you rest and go in and get refreshed so that you can go out and do your work. So get refreshed in the presence of the Lord, in his grace, in his favor. Take hold of those things. But at the same time, realize there's a treachery that we are being warned of in the world. There is a tsunami coming that is yes. going to shake up everything in the world. Yeah. And so we need to be in prayer. We need to be in prayer for our nations. We need to be in prayer for those who are outside of Christ. We need to pray for the revelation of Jesus Christ to get to everyone who is living outside of him. Because Amen. there is a tsunami coming. And yes. the enemy is, is, is working overtime to try to set up scenarios to try to take over nations. We see that in Psalm chapter 2. But we are not going to let that happen. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, not so that we would just hide out inside of a hotel, yeah. <laughs> but that we would go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So let us go from our place of safety, from our place of being sealed into the peace, go and proclaim the gospel and proclaim the warning that is needed for the people to know the end times are at hand, even with the eclipse coming up really soon. This is, you know, uh, really amazing. In fact, um, according to Troy Brewer, there are seven cities across America called Nineveh. There's one in the east coast of Canada as well, only one in, in Canada. But the path of the eclipse is going to hit all of those cities of Nineveh every single one of them, even the one in Canada. And so what happened in Nineveh? There was judgment that was yeah. called for, but then there was repentance. So the, re the judgment was removed. And that's yes. what we're going to believe for in our nations. And we're going to pray in just a moment, uh, Jeannie, and, um, you know, I'll begin and then you can you know, just jump in there. She's an amazing intercessor. And she's a leader of our Firewall USA Prayer. For those of you that want to go to the uh, Facebook channel, Firewall USA, you'll be able to jump on the prayer meetings there. Um, they're live at five, but you can get them, you know, after they run live as well. And just yeah. join in your faith to see the nation nations prevail in the glory of God, especially we're praying uh, specifically for the USA on, on that site and building a wall of fire around the USA Amen. so we can see the glory in the midst of her. Amen. But that's for all of your nations. Make sure that you're praying right now because what God's doing is global, but what the enemy is trying to do is global as well. So we need to be watchmen on the walls. Come on, so amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and praise you for the safety that you have provided for your people inside of a place of rest and grace yeah. and a quality, Lord God. It's an eternal focus that we are to have and remember who we are. We are not earthly beings struggling That's to right. try to get into heaven. We are That's heavenly true. beings who are living in the earth, but we are of a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We Amen. are of a kingdom that cannot Amen. be destroyed. Lord God. And Lord, we pray that every believer would have a new measure of faith uh, that they operate in, that they take hold of to give birth to your purposes Amen. and your glory in this hour that we are believing for a move of the spirit that is greater than any move yes. that the history of man has Amen. beheld so far. We thank you, God, that you are great and that you are mighty and you are glorious and you are going to move. But Lord, yes. 
Father, we right cry now, out Jesus. right now. We cry out yes. right now for yes. those in the right world. Now, we dear. cry out for those that oh, don't dear, know you. We cry out for their protection. We cry out for their salvation. We oh, pray, dear, Lord, Lord God, that dear, you, Lord, God, you would uh, dear, bring Lord, all in way, into your kingdom, that they would hear the gospel. And Lord God, that your judgment would be turned because of repentance, Lord, just like you did at Nineveh, Lord God. God. Oh, there was repentance, Lord. and so, so you turned from your judgment. And yes, we thank you, Lord, Lord, that your mercy Lord. triumphs Lord. over judgment. Lord. We pray, Lord God, Lord. that there would be Lord conviction God, in the hearts Lord. of every Amen. person that needs yes, to stand Lord. in that Jesus. conviction uh, in Jesus' have name. Damascus Road conversion, Lord. Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Damascus Road conversion, Father, right now. Lord. 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 Dear Lord, we love this nation. We are standing and we're contending. Lord. But Lord. on the wall, Lord. day and night, Lord. Night and day, dear Lord, as we cry out and decree and declare, we know by your word that our words are going out. Lord, you have showed us, Father, that strongholds are being torn down in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Hallelujah. In your name, dear Lord Jesus, we will continue, and your word will not return back void. We are rejoicing and giving you praise and glory and honor, Father, in the name of Jesus, because you have given your people yes, Lord. And I say unto your people, heed unto the voice of the Lord. Stop and go into that secret place every day with him and go find out what the spirit of the Lord has to say. Thank you, Lord. Because he is Thank you, Lord. to his nation because he loves Thank his you, Lord. nation. His, our nation is the only nation founded on in God we trust. And Lord, Thank we you. believe in you. And dear Lord, we will contend and we will stand, dear Lord, even in the midst of the darkness, dear Lord, that is coming. You gave me Isaiah 26, 20 and said, come my people, enter into your chambers and shut your door behind you. Hide yourself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation is passed. Indignation means wrath of God, but I've got good news. That little word means moment. It's not speaking of a time frame. It is the Lord showing and saying that for that this little moment is a phrase that is referring to how long our afflictions could last or it might seem, but a short moment compared, are you ready for this? Capture it. The happiness which was and is reserved for God's people and what's coming afterward. Come on, amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. And we Jesus. pray, Lord God, that you would uh -huh. raise up many watchmen to stand yes. on the wall, yes. Lord yes. God, and that your people oh, would be alert in this Lord. hour. And Lord, if there's any Esther, even watching dear, right now, if you're oh. watching right now and you do yes. not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, yes. come yes. into the Five Star Hotel. Come yes. into come that on. place of peace. Come into that Amen. place of rest. Because oh, the Lord's Jesus, ways Jesus. are true. His yes. ways are true. His ways yes. are righteous. Amen. Righteousness and justice are the foundation which the throne of God is built on. And That's he's it. calling you into his heart. His mercy triumphs over judgment, but it That's must it. be coming into Jesus and aligning with him. If you Amen. are outside of Christ, I just I just beckon you and I call you yes. to give your life to Jesus yes. in this hour. Yes, Say, right come now. into my heart, Draw Jesus. Him. Forgive me of my sin. Forgive yeah. me of all my failures. Forgive me of my waywardness. Cleanse me. Come in and live within my heart and give me eternal life. And if you pray that prayer, he will come in. Maybe you're away from the Lord right now. You don't want to be outside the walls of that five-star hotel. You don't want to be out there when this, this tsunami comes. Come Everything on. that can be shaken will be shaken, but God yes. wants you all secure. So mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for yeah. everyone, Lord God, that doesn't know you yet, that yeah. your word will get to them and that they will mm -hmm. come and repent and come yeah. unto you. And Lord, even for your people, Lord God, who are yeah. not walking with you, who are walking contrary to your ways, come I pray on. that they would receive the conviction of the Spirit Hear the and sound that they would be arm. empowered with the fear of the Lord. The Amen. spirit of the fear of the Lord come and fill us yes. now, Lord God, yes. and bring us back into a righteous focus in Jesus' Amen. name. In Jesus Lord, we thank name. you for your great mercy and kindness. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, for what you're oh, offering us for a sweet you, rain. 
Lord, yes. it's just something so oh, sweet that you fall. offer your people. And Lord, yes. we know it's not because we deserve it, but it's because of your love. And we Amen. don't take that for granted, Lord God. We don't take your kindness for granted because your kindness leads us to repentance. And I thank you, Lord God, for this this vision that you gave Jeannie. And I thank you, Lord, that we will continue to um, to just meditate on it and receive all of your goodness out of it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. All right. Well, we want to invite you all to continue to pray for the body of Christ to draw close to Jesus right now and remain in the shelter of the Most High. And also uh, to pray for the world and what's happening, what's shaking out there, that we'll have a revival of conviction, just like we saw in uh, Nineveh when they turned back to the Lord. We can have that in our day. I know yeah. someone posted that, of course, after that, years later, um, Nineveh went back into its ways. And so God ultimately did bring judgment there yeah. but we can delay this come on folks uh, we can call forth in our day yes. an outpouring of conviction that will bring people to know jesus we can have a revival that just fills the whole nation the nations Amen. of the world and Amen. let's believe for that let's have great faith let's take hold of faith now have great faith call for the fire the purging of God, the zeal of God, yes. the, the brilliance yes. of God to come in this hour. Amen. You are all so amazing. I love your faith. I, you know, I've been looking at some of the comments. You are, you are awesome. You are on fire for Amen. the Lord. And we're so excited. So keep praying. This is a very critical hour that we're living in. And especially this year, many nations are having elections this year. The U.S. is having a very important election this year. Yeah. We need to vote for righteous values and truth. We need to take a stand for the Lord in this time and pray, 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 pray. Yes. Right. Yes. And so uh, let's keep our eyes on the Lord during this election year. We're going to pray for, for everyone who's uh, trying to represent the government of the people, that they will walk in the fear of the Lord. Every single one would have the yes. conviction of the spirit. But we're going to believe for the Lord's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. 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 OK, well, thank you so much, Jeannie, for sharing. Thank and, you. Um, and again, I want to invite you all to go to Firewall USA. There's prayer meetings every single day for the USA right now. We feel that it's needed. And there's some faithful intercessors that are in that meeting every day. You can just pray from your own home. You can be out in your car on your phone. Uh, but you can join in on that prayer meeting. And Jeannie is one of our prayer leaders, as well as uh, Kay and Celia. Um, and, and it's a powerful time in the Lord. So God bless you and thank you so much for uh, joining us today and remain in prayer and remain focused on Jesus in this very 